Hi everybody and welcome back to Martin Aquatics. So today you're joining us in what we'll call the secret fishing pond. We've been asked by a customer to come over and uh, work on this and get it ready so we can add some fish. Uh, customers not got the best eyesight so we're going to stock some some natives but some some sort of morphs and some different colour ranges that sort of some golden tench, golden rud, albino grass calf, that sort of stuff that they can see a bit better. Um, it's going to be a lot of work to do, so stick around and uh, wait to see the final result. So, as you can see, I've got my waders on. I've just been into it now. Um, a lot of silt and sludge at the bottom. Um, probably about up to my shins. Um, used a wading pole to kind of feed out the area in front of me before I did. And I went in and got some um, water samples um, in order to do the pH level, uh, ammonia and uh, nitrite. So, Looking here now against the chart, uh, it's been just been five minutes now. So the pH is about between 7.4 and 7.6 in that vial there. Uh, the ammonia level is really good actually. Um, it's showing on here between the zero parts per million and 0 0.25. So I would say probably around 1, 1 point, 0 0.1 sorry, parts per million for the ammonia. And if we check the nitrite, again, that's still staying a lovely yellow color. Um, if that had gone red or purple, that's something we would have had to be worried about because that would, that would have shown that the nitrite level was quite high. Um, I'm comparing it here now to um, this chart we've got uh, that comes with the uh, water testing kit by API and it's showing again somewhere between zero parts per million and five parts per million so I would say that's probably somewhere halfway in between uh, maybe maybe 2.5 parts per million um, which for a pond with no filtration or pumping um, I, th I don't think those levels are too bad to be honest I think what's happened is mother nature is doing its work um, and and yeah so a lot better results than what we were hoping for So, if you can just about make out Ryan there, in amongst all the foliage, this is the back end of the pond. That's where we started out over there, the bit of decking, which is all rotten. But we'll get to that, that'll be replaced over time. This is the other side. So Ryan's just making his way round now and he's chopping off some of these rotten branches. They're only gonna fall in the pond eventually. We may as well take them out now 
clear up a bit of the space for fishing. What are our plans for this pool? Now, at the minute, we don't know if there's any stock in there. We highly doubt there is. And the owner that owns the pond now just bought this house and wants to be able to fish it. Now, we need to deal with the sludge. We've been in there and the sludge is past our knees, almost up to our waists. Um, for that, we're going to use the Oasa Slick stuff. We've got an order. Unfortunately, we've had to get it from Germany, so it's taking a little bit longer. Our wholesaler hasn't got it in stock at the minute. So that's going to be a couple of weeks until we can come back and use that stuff and that is going to break down all the sludge at the bottom and um, it's a little bit different to some of the other treatments on the market as this one doesn't really drop the oxygen levels which makes it a lot safer for any fish any aquatic life that's in the pond um, it's going to release some gases i suppose you'll you'll get the sludge you'll gas off a little bit um, but it won't take too long at all and that'll break down a lot of the a lot of the phosphates and the sludge in the bottom of the pond now eventually we want to fit the aerator. You might see us do that today, actually, if we get a chance. Um, we've got an Oazo aerator and an aerator ring, um, and that's going to help with conditions in the pond a lot, especially in the summer months where this is it dries out a little bit. And then we can come to stocking it. Now, at the minute, we are chopping down a lot of the trees over the water that are dropping leaves in and debris and adding nutrients into the water, uh, which is building up to the sludge over the years and stuff. This has been left here for years. Um, it's more of a natural pond than what we normally do. We normally do a more ornamental koi pond, goldfish pond thing in your garden. This is more of a farm pond um, and a fishing pond, which, which suits the owner. Uh, but yeah, stick around. You'll see us chopping some trees and stuff now and, and making it a bit better for casting in. Uh, we may, over time, add a few little fishing spots, different pegs around the pond where people can fish from but mainly it's just gonna be the, uh, the owner enjoying it and fishing for his beautiful fish. I better get back to work. Okay, so Ryan's going to do his thing now and he's going to sort out the life support systems in the pond. Electric is a nice sort of thing. So here we have the Aqua Oxy aeration ring, 60 centimetres. This will make a ring of aeration. Now it's not so much the bubbles that are acting off that are adding oxygen into the water, as you'd think it would. It's more that it's breaking the surface of the water, okay? And then this, we're going to need quite a powerful pump to go to. So Ryan, if you want to grab the pump and show him what we're using. So this is the aerator of choice. It is the Owaza Aqua Oxy 7500. And like Jamie explained, what this will do, um, rather than creating the oxygen through the actual bubbles through the aeration ring, what this will do is break a layer in the surface to allow oxygen to enter the water. So you've got your connections here. Um, you've got two wire clamps and a 90 degree elbow. We won't be using the 90 degree elbow. We'll just be using this adapter here. Um, we've actually had to opt for a different type that comes with the aeration ring. So this is a sinking eight millimeter internal diameter airline. 
uh, because the one that comes with the ring is five meters long um, and we needed 10 meters just to the sheer size of the lake um, or fishing pond, however you look at it. Um, we need to make sure, try and get this as center as possible. Um, so I believe it's about 21 meters. So we've opted for 10 um, and then we'll use that then. So we've got a good enough length for it to reach the middle of the pond. So I have already had this out um, when we had it delivered. But I'm just going to do a little unboxing now and show you guys what's what. So you have the instructions inside. You have the quality certificate. And then also your guarantee. So inside here is the aeration unit itself. Just, I've already sorted out some of the wiring on it. So... At the bottom there, you've got four rubber pads that help with the vibration and the noise. Although it is advertised as a silent motor, anyone who's got air raters will know that they can make quite a bit of noise at time and um, more of a drone than anything. So it's got rubber pads at the bottom to help with the noise. And then that's your outlet there. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this adapter and that's going to screw in place just like that I will tighten that up before we put it in and then we'll get our air hose and slide that over the top just like that so I don't know if you can see there that's made quite a nice nice fit we'll get back to you when we're putting it in the lake So, forgive the mess of the decking. Customer's gonna get this redone. As you can see, it's uh, not in the best of conditions. Jamie's just removing some of the weeds. Now, I don't know if you can see, we've put the Aqua Oxy ring in, and already you can see the type of surface area it covers. And I just wanted to make a note of this Oaza aerator. So, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but that is now running. I mean, listen to how quiet that is. I mean, if you own an air rate yourself, you'll know the, the noise that comes off them. Okay, it is making a noise, which you'd expect, but compared to others, very, very quiet. Um, really, really impressed by this by Owaza. Um, this floating line will sort. We've literally just put it in for now. Uh, we'll do some tidying up at the end. But no, um, so that's the Owaza Aqua Oxy 7500. It's from their Pro range. And if you're looking for an aerator for your small lake pond, definitely recommend this. Now, is there cheaper options out there? Yes. Um, but I genuinely feel like for the money... Um, this is well worth it. It's just by just by feeling the product and just by handling it, you can tell it's good quality. Um, long before we even connected it up, and now that we've got it working and we've heard how quiet it is, I mean, it says on it there, you know, quiet motor, but you, you can't always guarantee. But to be fair, Awaza, well done, uh, brilliant product, highly recommend. Right then, so. What I'm going to be doing now is clearing some of this channel. So obviously this is where the main fishing spot's going to be off the decking, off the side here. We may add a bit of a peg going out over time. I think that will be a good idea for the owner. And then we're clearing this section, this section. So it was full of reeds and irises and stuff, which is just going to get you twisted up when you're bringing in a fish. This is where we'll net the fish. So I'm going to go in now, use the rake, clear out what I can into this bucket. So time to get the waders on and get in the water what we've done here is a lot of the stuff we've taken out of the water we've left it just banked up on the side so any bits of wildlife 
it's got a chance to get off it and get back in the water and then we'll take it away and we'll take it over to the dung heap across the field but it's a good practice to do is to just leave things that you take out the pond on the side for a few hours or overnight's a good one um, just as that's drying off any bit of wildlife that's still in there can make its way back into the pond so this is why we're careful in what we do we don't turn up at a job like this and just start ripping things out because for us this is this is an ecosystem and we need to keep the ecosystem intact and in fact help the ecosystem to thrive so we've just been taking out some of the floating sticks and leaves on top of the water that are ultimately just going to turn into debris and break down um, it's one of the little finishing jobs that we do really and we're almost done here for today but before we go I thought I would show you this beautiful pair of newts that we've just found in the water. So there are things alive in here, which is great. As we expected, there would be no fish so far, but you know, they're gonna move away from us a lot quicker. So if you look, this guy on the right here is the male. And this little girl is the female. So the male is darker. And we'll show you now carefully. Now these, I mean, they're not the great crested newts, so we can handle them, but we have to use care when we do it. You see the color of his stomach. That's how we know he's a male and he's a bit darker. Hoping you can see that in shot. And the female has a little bit, but it's not quite the same color as the male. So we will put these guys off to one side. We'll be very careful with them. And when they're gone, when we're gone, we'll put them back in the water to return to their home. That's us done for today. We'll be back in a few weeks time. We'll be putting the Oaza Schlicks into the pond. That'll help break down all the sludge, debris, anything organic in the water. And that'll improve the quality of water and make it better for fish. Cause that's the plan. We're gonna stock it with some fish in a few weeks time. We'll keep testing the water. Obviously, there may be a spike now in nutrients. We've been in there wading around. We've stirred up a lot of stuff. It's absolutely stinking, the gases that are coming from there. Um, but yeah, it all goes to making a beautiful little ecosystem and a nice little pond for our customer, Brian, who is a cracking chap and absolutely hilarious. And he's gonna enjoy this for many years to come and hopefully and invite us around for a beer and a barbecue and we can fish it with him and then we can show you an update. See you in the next one, everyone.